days more here and I would like to do a short practice uh, today. And we're going to start in mountain pose and do a few rounds of sun salutation, the classical salutation. So as you take a moment to settle yourself in mountain pose, direct your attention to your breath, breathing in through the nostrils, back of the throat, exhaling through the back of the throat and the nostrils, ujjayi breathing or the sound breath. And you can take as many breaths here as you need to feel more settled in the position before you start. And then with your inhale, raise your arms overhead, reach up, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold forward. It's okay to bend the knees slightly. Inhale, half lift. You can place your hands on your shins for your half lift. And then plant the hands down and step the right foot back on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high push-up position, plank. Low push-up, slowly. Inhale, cobra. Go to the extent that your body is willing to go and don't force your spine here. Exhale, downward dog. Then right leg stepping forward on the inhale. Exhale, feet together at the top of the mat and fold. Inhale and coming all the way up. And then exhale, arms to the sides. And then again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, chest to the thighs. Then half lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step your left leg back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, low push up, slowly. Inhale, cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Left leg stepping forward into a lunge. Inhale. Exhale, feet together and fold. Inhaling, a nice long spine. Pull your belly in and rise. Then exhaling, release. So let's do this one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, chest to the thighs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Right leg stepping forward. You can use your hand to help the leg move forward. And then exhale, feet together and fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up. And exhaling, mountain pose. So you can repeat this sequence as many times as you wish. Okay? So I'm going to push my back a little bit. Alright, now. Next round, we're going to add warrior one and chair pose. So let's start with the chair pose. So from mountain pose, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift again. Exhale, take both feet back. Plank to low push up. It's one long exhale. Then inhale, cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Right leg stepping forward to set your back foot on the floor and rise. Inhale up. Take a breath or two here. And with your exhale, come down. Low push up. Again, you can put your knees on the floor. Inhale up. Exhale. Downward dog. Left side. Back foot on the floor. Right toes pointing to the right corner. And reach, arms up, sink your hips. With your next exhale, come down, low push up. Again, knees to the floor to build upper body core strength. Inhale, cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. 
and hold the position for a few breaths. And then you're going to walk your feet towards the hands and lengthen the spine. Exhale, chest to the thighs. Chair pose, inhaling. And exhaling, coming to mountain. Let's repeat this sequence one more time. Starting mountain pose, then inhale, chair. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, exhale, take your feet back. Low push up, slowly. Inhale, I'm doing cobra. If you want to do up a dog, it's fine. Exhale, down dog. But just stick to cobra until you feel that your back is strong enough to do a up dog. And then go into the warrior one on the right side. Take a breath or two here. And with your exhale, then you go down. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale. Again, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, stepping forward. Place your back foot on the floor and rise, warrior one. Again, stay here for one, two breaths. And then coming down, low push up again. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And take your feet to the hands. You can walk your feet to the hands and fold. Chair pose. Inhale. And exhale. Coming to mountain. Good. And you can repeat this sequence as many times as you wish. I'm going to do a warrior sequence now. So, Starting from the chair pose again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Then exhale, take your feet back. Plant your hands first. Take your feet back and lower to the low push-up. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg is stepping forward. Place your back foot down and rise. Good. Now we add a warrior two. Open the back foot a little bit to help you open the hips. Square the hips, square the shoulders, reach the arms. Bend your front knee. Good. Then from here, the transition is to lift your back foot, lift it up, reach your arms to the corners. Lean forward and prepare for a warrior three. If you need to keep the supporting leg bent, the top leg straight with your toes pointing down. And then lightly stepping back again into the warrior one. Inhale, exhale, low push up. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Left leg warrior one. Back foot is on the floor, right toes to the right corner. Coming up. Open to warrior two. There you go. Lengthen your arms and look towards that front arm. Lengthen the back arm. Yeah. Then you're going to pivot your back foot. Reach your arms out to the sides. That usually helps. Press the back knee up to the ceiling. Lengthen the spine. And when you're ready, take off. Arms to the sides will help you with your... It's a side corner here. And keep the abdomen firm. This top leg is facing down. So your kneecap and your toes facing down. And then step back to the warrior one again, good, and then exhale, come down, chaturanga, low push up, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog, and then you can come down to your hands and knees and rest for a moment, 
Okay, take a few moments to rest, if you need that rest. If not, just stay in downward dog, okay? And then we're going to finish the sequence from the down dog. Step, walk, or jump your feet towards the hands, and then fold forward. Chair pose again, inhale, and exhale, we come up to mountain. Okay, we're going to add to this warrior sequence. Inhale, chair pose, exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale, exhale, take your feet back. Low push up, slowly, leading with the chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg stepping forward, back foot on the floor, left toes pointing to the left corner. Reach your arms, inhale, then go to warrior two. Here's a little modification. Hold it, sink your hips down. If this is too much, then don't bend your knees so much, okay? You want to sink your hips straight down. Otherwise, keep your knee up a little higher. All right, then from here, let's move into the side angle pose. Don't lift your shoulder up towards your ear. Drop the shoulder and lengthen the arm. You can gaze up to the ceiling or straight ahead. Then inhale back to the warrior two and then we're going to lift the back heel go into a lunge position arms going to the corners sink your hips prepare for the warrior three toes pointing down kneecap and hip on that back side facing down warrior one inhale exhale low push up slowly Inhale, exhale, down dog. Left leg is stepping forward, right foot down, warrior one on the left side. Warrior two. Again, if the warrior two is too intense, keep a slight bend in the knee. That's fine. You can do more, then sink your hips down, knee and ankle still in the same line. Perfect. Then with your exhale, go into the side angle pose. I'm doing a modified side angle where I'm supporting myself here, but don't collapse. Remember, we never do this. We will press down to lift and lengthen. Three. Again, if you can, look straight up to the ceiling or straight ahead. Breathing two. And one. Coming back to the warrior two. Now here's that uh, little difficult transition, especially for the balance. You're going to pivot your back foot, lift your back heel, take your arms to the corners, and prepare for the warrior three. Hold your balance. Hip facing down, toes facing down. Three, two, Lightly stepping back into the warrior one. Inhale, then exhale. Low push up slowly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. And here again, you can come down to your knees and rest for a moment in child's pose. Okay? Or you don't need to rest. Stay in down dog for about three more breaths. And focus on the ujjayi breath. Inhale through the nostrils, back of the throat. Exhaling through the back of the throat and the nostrils. Feel the sensations of the breath. And listen to the sound of your breath. Then you're going to take your feet to the hands. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, come on up to chair. And exhale, release. 
Then interlace your fingers like this. Press your palms forward and up. And then we're going to lean sideways. Whatever side you want to start, that's fine. Then keeping your feet firmly grounded, legs moving towards each other. Stay in the position, three. I'm showing you the same position from a different perspective here, two. And one. On your inhale, come up and go over to the other side. So here, you're still facing the short edge of your mat. Press your palms away from the head, elbows towards each other. Three, two. On your inhale, come on up. Exhale, fold forward, chest to the thighs, relax. And then inhale, half lift. Plant your hands and step back. Plank position. Hold a plank. We're building a little bit of upper body and core strength. As you hold the plank, draw your right knee to the chest, forehead to the knee, and take it back. Left knee to the chest, forehead to the knee, pull your tummy in, take it back, downward dog. Good. Inhale, plank. Low push up all the way to the floor. Coming up into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. This time lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Three limb dog pose. Exhale, step the leg forward. Back foot on the floor, warrior one again. And warrior two. Take a breath in, exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, back to warrior two. Pivot your back foot. We're repeating the same thing. Reach your arms, lift your back leg. I'm going to add something else, so stay tuned. Step back, warrior one again. Reach up. Now lower your left hand to the floor. So right leg is in front, left hand, lift your back heel up and twist. Four, three, two, and one. Downward dog. And you can just stay here, take a few moments to stay in down dog or a moment to relax here your option and then we start everything on the other side left leg is up with your exhale step forward back foot on the floor inhale up then open to warrior two take a breath in exhale side angle pose On your inhale, come up to warrior two. Pivot your back foot to reach your arms to the corners. Lean forward, get ready for the warrior three. Improving your balance. Three, two, lightly stepping back to warrior one. Inhale, then exhale, hands down. Hand on the floor, you pivot your back foot. Press your back knee up and twist. Four. Breathing three. Breathing two. Breathing one. Hands down. Step back, down dog. Then inhale, plank. Low push up and lie down on your belly. All the way to the floor. Then take your arms back, palms facing up, and the top of your hands on the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up, and hold. It's a form of locust. Avoid rolling your shoulder blades forward, so you want to squeeze the shoulder blades a little bit more towards the spine, and lengthen the neck. Front and back of your neck equally long. Press your thigh bones into the floor. Pubic bone towards the belly button, 
belly button towards the spine and coming down. Take a breath or two and then do it again. On your inhale, lift your torso up. The inhalation will help you lift the chest up. And again, make sure that you avoid doing this. For some people, this is not such a good idea. So it's safe to keep the spine long, the cervical spine long. Three, two, and one. Release. And then place your hands under the shoulders and press back into the child's pose for a moment. And then camel pose. So I'm going to use a block for the camel. Use it if you have a block. So squeeze the inner thighs a little. You can roll your toes under and then lift the spine up. Squeeze your block and then take your hands to your heels. Now let's say this is really not possible. It's not doable to get your fingertips even to the heels. So here's what I would suggest, and I'll give you some more blocks here. I'll get one block, put it between the thighs, and then I get the other blocks right here where I can reach, and then this becomes a little more doable, right? And more pleasurable. If you throw your head back and it hurts, don't. Don't throw the head back. Three, two, then use your chest to help you up, and then the head comes up. And then release. Take a moment to rest. And feel free to do another camel position. I'll show you with blocks, and if you don't have blocks, you can still do camel without the blocks. Okay? So take about five, maybe ten breaths even in camel pose. Tuck your tailbone. You want the spine to move back. Yes. Three, two, and on your inhale, lift the spine up, and then the head comes up. Good. And then have a seat. All right. We're going to do this next position with the knees bent. So bend the knees. Lean a little forward, but please avoid rounding the spine. Lengthen. Lengthen the belly. And then go forward. That should help release the the back muscles from the previous exercise. And notice I'm keeping my knees quite bent and that is safe on my back. Okay? Now, let's say you don't have any back issues, you can do this with both legs completely straight, then go for it. Now relax your head down and take about five more breaths. And one, and then slowly come on up, scoop forward, we're going into a bridge pose. Actually, let me do some abdominal first, abdominal exercises first, before we go into the bridge. So lie down on your back, support your head with the fingertips lightly touching the back of the head, feet on the ground, belly in, take a deep breath into the belly, now exhale, press the belly, and lift the head and chest up. Hold. One, two, three. Come down. And again, inhale, softening the belly. And exhale, squeeze your belly as you lift your torso up. Hold. One, two, three, and come down. This is really a basic abdominal exercise. Then exhale, come back up and hold. Pressing your belly, trying to feel the abdominals right here. I know you can feel it in the top, but feel it in the bottom as well. And then release. Now, if you feel that you can give it a try without the support of your head, then do so. Imagine a little ball between the chin and the chest. And as you exhale, crunch up a little, you know, tennis ball right there. 
four, you can even look towards your knees, three, two, and one, come down, take a deep breath in, soften the belly, and then you crunch back up, crunch, 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 exhale, you press your belly down, three, two, and release, and you can do maybe 15, 20 reps, and then move on, okay? Perhaps in the beginning you can only do five. That's fine. Then you're going to press your heels close to the butt, as close as you can. Lift your heels up and then slide your block underneath your pelvis. Tighten the glutes. And we're going to stretch out for a moment. Right leg in front. Take your arms overhead. A little quick stretch here. But it's a supported bridge. And then release, go for the other side, extend one leg and the other bend to lengthen the arms, lengthen the neck. So in other words, you don't want to be doing this. And then bring the feet back together. You can stay here for as long as you wish and take a break and relax going to Shavasana. Now, for a little bit more activation of the glutes, you can remove your block, put it to the side, okay, all the way to your side, and then come up and press your upper arms on the floor and the shoulder blades on the floor. And avoid looking towards the computer or the TV. So you want to really just listen to my voice. You don't want to be moving your head. And lift your right heel up. Once you lift your right heel up, you're going to feel the, the opposite side of the body engaging a little bit more. And then place your heel down and lift the other heel up. Lift, lift. Transfer the weight a little bit more to the other side, to that foot that is flat on the floor. And then place both heels down and start, slowly start to come back down. And then bring your knees to your chest and stretch. Good. And then you can stay here for as long as you wish. And that's it for today. Namaste. Thank you for watching.